Paul George. Turns the corner, gets it to Jackson. Swings it to a wide open Morris for three. It is good. He extends his arm, the shot comes from up high. Everything he does, he uses every inch of that body. Contested mid range, I'll tell you what, that's a tough shot for Marcus Morris. George gets the screen from Jackson. Clever pass to Reggie. Finds Morris on the wing. Three for three. Hook it. Five threes for the Clippers. Over the defender that the Clippers are putting on him. And as a result, we've seen him shoot right over the top. George finds his team. Takes it to the house with a two-handed flush. Picks it up at half court. Clippers hunting perhaps for the two for one. George is aware from the wing to the lane. A wrap around to an open Batum for three. What a pass. What a shot. When you, excuse me, when you mentioned two for one, this is what you're talking about. They get another opportunity now to score. George creates space again, flicks the wrist. Oh, bucket for George! Willing to move the basketball, as you mentioned before, play the right way. Well, the right way is to find the open man and get it to him. Speaking of open man, Terrence! They keep Mobley on, who's seven feet tall, and then they put Love out there, 6'11, 7 feet. And there's another jump in should only shoot it whenever he touches it. He loves it, knocks it down, and then once again penetrate, collapse the defense. Luke Bernard rotates up. As soon as the layup happened, he put his hand up and would say, that's my bad. Terrence man to the rim, back to the basket, lays it in, contorting his body, and lays it home. Terrence man with five. So you don't always have to look at it like that. It could be something else. Like maybe he's asking for help. Ball don't lie. Clippers get it back. Man attacks on Garland. Oh, a finger roll finish for Terrence Mann. Well, they're going to give him two shots. And then you'll see the ability. A little pitch ahead pass by Batum. Garland trying to get in front. And you see the fourth over. The steps get longer. The finish at the rim. Four turnovers for the Cavaliers. LaVert. Played on three teams the last three seasons. George, a step back, foul circle jumper, and it's good. Paul George with 16. It's against the Cavaliers, the hottest team in the NBA. George, 7 of 12 from the field. Clippers, Cav, 57% from the field. A high-scoring affair. George, no look in the corner to man. On the wing to Morris, driven off the line. Knocks it in ahead of the horn. Whoever decides to play defense first and the longest will huh. win this game that uh, coming from a couple of champions. So, you know, take their word for it. <laughs> Let's get you back to L.A. We'll see you after the game. Well, the key is to take what the defense gives you. Just float over to that spot-up area. The pass gets it on time, and then Terrence Mann. George, surrounded by defenders, finds Mann. Dishes in the corner. Hesitation for Morris. Just a slow shot for Morris. He knocks it down. He's got 13. Five to shoot. Man tries to attack again. Fade. One legged jumper. It is good. Terrence Mann looks like a completely different player the last couple of times out. He has a dozen. Fading on it. Watch. Pull it back. Step away. Create some space. Kicks it back outside to Terrence Mann. Jackson. Deep three. Late the clock. Book it. Just phenomenal. Great report, Christina. Clippers lead by three. Mobley surveys the seat, tries to back down on Zoo. Fade the contest. It's blocked by Zoo. It's recovered by George. The feeling both the Jazz and the Cavaliers are very happy with the trade. Markin it has been phenomenal for Utah. 103 95. Jackson down the lane and down the hatch. Reggie Jackson with 14. Keep Garland on his hip side right there. He does not allow him to get back in front. And then the... some nice plays were trending in the right direction. Deflection. Interception by man with Garland to beat. Flushes it in with the right hand. But here, get that arm in the passing lane. And then make sure you finish it this time with the dunk. Powell to tie. Across the arm, that's what Coach Bridges has been complaining to the official about. Turn the ball, concentrate, finish it off, and get fouled. The flash into the open area in case they double team Paul George. George accelerates down the lane, off the window. Hot damn! The Clippers take the lead. Counted at a foul. You go quick to try and get a two for one, or do you just wait for the best shot and take it when it comes? Well, Ty Lue told him he wanted him to go quick, early. Paul George not only does it, but takes the blow and converts.